There. That's it. That's him. What's going on, people? Back to drop you another video. And this time I'm gonna give you a video. I'll wait a little minute because to give the respect to the man. I'm gonna talk about Nelson Mandela. I'm gonna tell you why the United States was hands off on him for a long period of time. And I know that there's a lot of celebration going on, you know, celebrating his life and death. So I'm gonna tell you the reason why. The United States was hands off on Nelson Mandela until what, uh, F.W. the clerk released him? Why, and why they didn't get involved in that situation. Now, Nelson Mandela, like I said, his death has been celebrated around the world as, a, as he was a world leader and a freedom fighter. But the states, the United States that we live in, are hypocr they're, 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 they're hypocritical. Well, I'll say we as the United States are hypocritical in celebrating his death. Because the United States didn't want to deal with Nelson Mandela at all. They didn't want to. They didn't want to deal with him. You know, the United States only got in, in, into the pressing of South Africa for equal rights because of the public pressure that was put on the United States by the citizens by the citizens of the United States. And that was the only reason the United States got in. There might be some maybe mineral rights or whatever, business conduct, you know, conducting business-wise, but the main reason was the pressure the citizens put on the United States government to get involved in for Mandela and for the fight against apartheid, which was working in the United States, which obviously Y'all didn't want to fight for that, but y'all fight for another man. That's another video, but I digress. Let's go back in. You want to know the real reason why the United States really didn't waste, waste their time with him till then? Because Nelson Mandela and the ANC were comrades of the Soviet Union, and they were tra the Soviet Union, the USSR, along with Cuba, was training the ANC in African outposts. This is a fact. This is something that's not deniable. This is something that can be proven and has been proven over and over. Now, I know some of you guys are going to say, where are you going to get your claim from? Use this little thing over there or right above the long, the long empty thing called a search bar and look it up for yourself. Type in ANC or spell out African, or African National Congress or put ANC USSR with Nelson Mandela in the USSR and go out, go ahead. They were training in like friendly African countries how to fight against the apartheid. Matter of fact, I saw a movie from South Africa about how this childhood star, and a lot of people in South Africa don't know who I'm talking about. There's this, I'm really forgetting his name, but there's this childhood star. He was a, uh, he was a, he star along with another white, he had a, he was wearing a soap down there, he was a black kid, and he was a, he was a star in a movie. With a white family, it's almost like a different strokes, I guess. But uh, what happened was, as he grown up, he lost, he couldn't get any work. So then he was hitting, hitting the streets of Joburg, and he he found out what it was real. But along this time, he was his buddy convinced him, or he, he ran out of fear to go train with him. Well, he didn't know the training. I guess the training was a military type training, and that's what it was. It was a training for by the Russians and the Cubans to train the ANC to fight against the resistance or the apartheid movement. Now, it was, it, was, it was a pretty decent movie. I forget the name. People in South Africa know who it is because a friend of mine sent it to me. So I saw it. So, But uh, they were training an outpost, African outpost. And here's the quote from the movie. If, if, if anybody in South Africa you saw this movie, you know, the, you know what I'm talking about when I say this quote. The quote that was put to me, well, not put to me, put in the movie, was when they were training, they said the, the African has the least amount of discipline in the whole world. Chew on that for a minute. This, this was a quote in the movie, and this 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 is how, what made it so memorable to me. It said, the African has the, amount, the least amount of discipline in the world, and that's why we get treated the way we get treated. Now that, that was, that was, that was real. That was undeniable, that was real, that was said. And then, like I said, if people thought I could have saw that movie, you know what I'm talking about. You know, they, they received military, like from the Russia, the Russians. So you can give them military, they gave them all the logisticals, they gave them training, they gave them the whole nine. You know, Mello accomplished a lot. I hate to say, he accomplished a lot and learned from these, from the Soviet Union. 
But before you start jumping up and down about what he's done, at the same time, nowadays, Ron Delaware would consider a terrorist by the United States who celebrated his... See, it's always freedom fighting when it's when it's convenient for us. But if Mandela was today and he was doing the stuff today, he would be considered a terrorist. So the United States is not the United States is playing PC again, as we all know they do with foreign. Oh, they do it in the home, so they're gonna, they're gonna go out outside the home and play foreign PC politics, man. It is widely it's widely reported and documented, like I said in that British movie, that Mandela was on a pay, like Winnie was. There's another movie. It's called uh, Charlie. My British folks, thanks for sending me that movie, by the way. Uh, there's, a, there's a movie called Charlie. It's about Charlie Richardson. If you don't know him, look him up. There's a search bar right there. Look up. His name's Charlie Richardson. He's from the UK, went to South Africa, and uh, the government of South Africa wanted him to... The ANC had, a, had an office in London, and so what they wanted the ANC... Charlie was so powerful at the time. It was Charlie Richardson and the craze. Look up what I'm talking about. And they wanted Charlie to... Spy on the ANC, put their bugs in the ANC's London office, and he wouldn't do it. And then it came around that Winnie Mandela, Nelson's wife, was on the payroll of the ANC. I'm not the ANC, my fault, of the, of the South African government. Look it up in this movie. If you don't believe me, watch, Google the movie up. It, it's real shit here. Winnie Mandela was on the payroll. Yes, I know about her and that little 14 year old boy who so, well, was murdered, because well, he was a. Uh, Supposedly he was uh, an informant. Well, let me tell you, how does Winnie Mandela, let me go chew on this for a minute. How does Winnie Mandela get off on a murder charge with just probation? There's gotta be some deeper shit to this. Like Winnie could have blew the top off on all the shit she was doing for the government. Wait, I mean, there's a reason why her and Nelson didn't stay together. And uh, a lot of you need to deep think about this. Like, when she killed that kid, how do you get off of that? A little kid. How do you get off killing a 14-year-old and you don't get no time for that? You don't even get a fucking year. The only time you got was the time they held you when they arrested you. Where do they do that and you don't have some powerful fucking connections? And this is what a lot of people don't understand. No, she was on the payroll of the South African government and I'm going to leave that at that. But overall... She, let, me, let me take it a step further. She was on the payroll of the South African government that oppressed the same people she was supposedly fighting for. Chew on that. You know, why do you think that? Why do you think they got divorced? That's my opinion as far as divorce. I think he found out that she was getting that guap from the government. And he was like, what the fuck you doing? So they went their separate ways. But like I said, Mel Mandela will now be recognized as a political saint. With the key word being political, as in political correctness. As I said, as I stated earlier, if he was in a, right now, he'd be labeled a terrorist. But now he's a freedom fighter, which I don't understand the difference. Like the people over in the Middle East in Israel are called terrorists. Technically, that's part of the land, so wouldn't they be considered freedom fighters? It all depends on your outlook and all depends on where the money's going. If the money's coming to you, they're a freedom fighter. If the money's going elsewhere, they're a terrorist. You know, but as soon as, once he recognized, recognized if, he's, if he was recognized as a terrorist, we wouldn't be doing all these celebrations and stuff. Like, but later, he came to the conclusion that all races must come together to work towards the benefits of the country. Which he was good, but at the same time, there was no real improvement in South Africa. And truth be told, they, they, they stayed the same as they were. Blacks, uh, drop out rate was like 30%, I said, I saw, and all that, so... He's an enigma, I'll give him that. I can't call it, you know. I I can't call him a bad guy, I can't call him a good, well, he was good for the people, apparently, so uh, I can't call him a bad guy because I don't know what all was going on. Like, if he killed kids, then he's a bad guy. But he's fighting for oppression, to get over oppression, to me, that's good. So, it all depends on where you look coming from, you know. I guess I'm done with this video, and as always, oh, hold on, what am I, I forget my saying. Finally, no, that ain't the same. Uh, oh, yeah, no, that ain't the same. Uh, what's my saying? To beat them, no. What's my saying? Put an ether beat, no, that's not my saying. What is it? Uh, 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 and as always, I, no, that ain't my saying either. What is it? Uh, oh, yeah, as always, Mr. Warmax in the building. Peace.
there. That's it. That's him. <laughs>